we're in the archives of the Royal Society in London again, and I want to talk to you about methane and methane in coal mines because I've already shown you on some of the videos how methane can explode when it's mixed with air. <coughs> and because coal is originally formed from organic matter, very frequently in coal mines you get methane gas. And methane gas doesn't smell, has no colour, and in the early days of coal mining, people never knew it was there, and suddenly there would be an explosion. And the reason there'd be an explosion is because they used candles to light the mine while they were digging. There was a big scientific race to try and invent a safe lamp that would help the miners know when there was danger, but wouldn't blow them up. So if you think about it, you've got to try and have a naked flame in a coal mine where if there is gas there, the explosion won't spread. So before I tell you how it was solved, let's go and see some of the things that are here in the archive which explains how it was done. As usual, I have got my colleague Rupert who's going to find some things to bring this all to life. Gosh, that's really good. What we've got here looks pretty miserable, but this was the lamp invented by Sir Humphrey Davy in 18... one can argue exactly when, 1813 or so. This is the lamp he made which solved the whole problem. And the key to it is this gauze that you can see here. So, first of all, before I ex explain what the gauze does, let's see Rupert come and show me so Humphrey Davy, who was working at the Royal Institution, tried all sorts of different designs with his assistant, Michael Faraday, and they tried different sorts of lamps to see whether if they exposed this to methane it would explode. And this is the drawing they really made. Am I allowed to touch it? So here and underneath, I think, is another drawing <coughs> of a lamp that didn't work. You can see it just looks like a lantern with a chimney. This is the, his actual writing where he describes his apparatus. It begins, the first apparatus that uh, I made. I'm not sure if many of you have been in the middle of an explosive mixture, but what happens is when you light a match, the reaction starts just on the match. And because when methane burns and makes CO2 and steam, it occupies a bigger volume, the pressure goes up, so a pressure wave moves outwards. And as it moves outwards, it compresses the gas that it meets. And so the pressure goes up and, and the temperature goes up and the reaction goes faster. So it builds up and up and up. So by the time it gets a small distance away, it's really traveling very fast and with a lethal rate. And what Davy discovered, presumably with Faraday, was that if you have a flame inside the gauze, the gas can start burning in the gauze, but the flame cannot go through that gauze because the metal gauze cools the gas enough to stop the reaction. So if you were a miner with one of these lamps in an explosive atmosphere, what you will suddenly notice is that the colour of the flame changes, starts burning, I think, with a more bluish flame, and you know something's wrong, but you're still alive, and you know it's time to leave or turn up the ventilation. But until that point, if somebody had a lamp and was in an explosive atmosphere, they never knew about it because they'd been blown up. This lamp here, or this piece of tubing is the lamp that Davy made that proved his discovery. And like many pieces of historic equipment, it doesn't look very exciting, but this is what sparked the idea. Perhaps sparked the idea is the wrong metaphor here, but you understand what I mean. <laughs> 